it's the 29th of July 2022 and I may or may not have given my LM behind me here a light scalp. Yes it is too early for most. No I'm not concerned. I'm just doing it. Let's see what happens. Now I didn't record the actual mow because my battery died. It's about to die again but let me show you how it looks from the top. You can clearly see the gaps so I've taken it down to about crown level so not eating into the actual runners, the stolons but definitely nicking enough that I'm opening up patches like this. There's some areas that are a bit more closed up but for the most part when you look at it from straight above you can see the ground almost everywhere and then just in some places a bit more. So in the dips they're kind of still full but that's the way I'm doing it. Well done it. It's done. And it comes out measured at 10 millimeters. Good morning, sir. Right, it's been about two and a half weeks since I gave the LM section out front here a light scalp down to about 10 mils. And I wanted to do that to see if I would induce any new growth, which I did. So as you can tell, things have greened up quite a bit, but it's still not perfect. And that's because I'm experiencing what I think a lot of you are experiencing right now, and that is that the temperatures are starting to rise apart from today, which got down to three degrees. But for the most part, we can feel that we're heading towards spring. The problem is, and in particular up here on the high felt, we're not tagging that heat along with rain. And because of that, things are drying out quite quickly. And the tropical grass like Alem doesn't like to be dry. So as you can see, it looks okay. You can tell that it's just come out of winter, but there's a bit of a shriveled effect on the lawn and some dry spots. And in particular for me, I can luckily see my side profile right here. It is bone, bone dry. And to rehydrate that, as I've said in the past, is a problem. So we're going to work on that today. So first things first, we're going to give it a bit of a cleanup mow. So not a short mow, sort of regular height. I'll probably aim for about 20 mils, mostly to vacuum up all the nonsense that's now sitting on the surface. We still have those August winds pulling through. So of course, every neighbor's leaf is blowing into my yard, including my own, and it's making a mess on this lawn. So clean it up, give it a mow, and then we'll look at how to water next. So it's a lot better after the mow, a lot cleaner, tidier looking, but I can definitely tell it's very dry out there, a lot drier than even I thought when I started recording this video. So the way to get this rehydrated again, the very simple shortcut, my method at least, whether it's scientifically true or not, I'm not 100% sure, but I feel that this works quite nicely and that's to lightly wet the area first. So I'm going to pull out the hose, spray the area, just get it slightly damp. Then I'll bring out the camisole aqua, apply 25 mils per 100 square meters. So I'm going to do about 30 mils for this area out here. And then after that, water it in heavily. So a bit of water to wet the area. Then, and sort of get it prepared. Then the camisole aqua, and then a heavy watering session. <laughs> First wetting session is done. I'm just going to let that settle for five or ten minutes, grab a cup of coffee, come back out and do my camisole aqua application over here. I double check the measurements. I'm going to need about 50 mils for this entire area out here. So I'm going to stick that in a hose end sprayer and spray it out here. If you have a knapsack sprayer, work on the same principle as what you would do for herbicides. Put down about five liters of water per 100 square meters. Put in the, the required amount of camisole aqua into your knapsack sprayer spray it out over the area and then water that in. Still again in that circumstance it's best to have the ground wet before even doing that. And then we'll give it a heavy watering session after that. There we go, Camisole Aqua is down. I just sort of colored in the extra dry spots a bit more, so a bit more product per those areas. I'm now gonna go and water it in heavily again, making sure that I don't let any pooling, puddling, or runoff occur from the surface because that just makes things more hydrophobic. And then in about two weeks, I'll come back and do this again. And then I'll sort of try and keep it up every third week, put down Camisole Aqua 
until I can make sure that things are doing what they need to do in future. You will see it start to transform. It won't happen in one go. It's not magic. You've got to keep up at these things, general maintenance, and eventually it gets better, and then you know you can back off on the product over time. All right, so that's looking a lot nicer already, but any time will tell. All right, so I'm just going to keep up watering for the next few days at least, maybe one or two more days, keep it damp, and then go back to the once a week schedule and just see how things go over the next couple of weeks. Read your lawn. The next thing that I'm going to do is follow my own lawn care calendar. So you know that I always talk about mowing, watering, and fertilizing as being the three most important things in lawn care. I've mowed, I've watered. The next thing for me to do is fertilize, but it's not the right time for me in particular. If you're in a much warmer region than Pretoria, maybe Durban or something like that, you can perhaps think about putting down a fertilizer a little bit earlier than everyone else. And if you're in a colder region, it should be a bit later. It needs to be when you can see definitely that things are actively growing and that you don't have these kind of hiccups. So even though my grass is technically okay, I can put down something like a Novatec NMAX or a Terraplast Natura N, but I'm going to try not to kick the grass while it's down. Let it recover from this uh, dehydration period when it's looking a little bit healthier, perhaps in another week or two, then I'll put down the fertilizer. Anyway, we'll do that in another video. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, share this with your buddies, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.